Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm an occupational therapist practicing in the US who goes by the moniker OT Dude. So my wife, she subscribes to the consumer product recalls and she got a notification because we have a kiddo about some of the products that were recalled recently in like, um, at least for the market in the US. And what really caught my attention was the recall of the weighted blankets that were sold by Target. And as an occupational therapist, this really caught my attention because while I don't personally don't recommend these products, a lot of other occupational therapists do. And disclaimer, this is just educational information and not personal advice or recommendations. I highly recommend that you speak with your pediatrician, especially if you have children and you have used products or you have questions about these products, about what to use. But I think this video will probably get you in the right place and help you at least make a pretty informed decision. Why? Because, well, personally, for me as an occupational therapist, like I mentioned earlier, I have never made a recommendation for like weighted vests or weighted blankets, nor have I used them outside of like learning about it in school, really. Because why? In my recent blog post for occupational therapy practitioners and also consumers, I guess, like family members and parents, I talked about how interventions such as these weighted vests in blankets have actually long, like for many, many years now, while been recommended by occupational therapists are actually not supported by the current evidence from like research studies for their like supported use, like at least their intended use for like people with autism for things like difficulties with attention. And now I'm looking at probably not for sleep either. And unfortunately not all OTs are in the same camp and like read up on the latest evidence and like the best practices. But I think this might actually be a nail on the head for the case against these like weighted blankets, at least for children. So let's take a look at the report. The name of the product in question is the Pillow Fort Weighted Blanket, in which 204,000 units, I don't know if it was sold or produced, but there's 204,000 units out there that were recalled. And it was uh, recalled on December 22nd, 2022. And the reason is that two children, one aged four and another aged six, were entrapped in them. More specifically, in the cover, probably in between the cover and the actual blanket itself, and they died, unfortunately, due to asphyxiation. Target also received four total reports of children being entrapped in these weighted blankets. So, wow, like these blankets are like trapping kids, basically. And unfortunately, two of these mentioned in the report were reported to be fatalities. And the blankets, in terms of the specifications themselves, if you're curious, they weigh six pounds, they measure 60 by 40 inches, and they have a removable cover. And so the Consumer Product Safety Commission in the U.S. is urging consumers to stop using these recalled blankets immediately and to contact Target for a refund. While the recall is for this like one line of like blankets, it really makes me wonder, especially as a parent for like kids, like what's the safety of these other similar products that are floating out in the wild and being used like by families and like children. And you know, age four and six, to me, I consider that like pretty like mature and old. Like I have a two year old and like, I can see him playing and getting trapped in it, but like four, maybe like but a six year old too. So it's like really, wonder makes me wonder like how dangerous are these products that resulted in like asphyxia so right now i think my personal recommendation and i probably will not change in the future i don't think is to not use these products with or near children or even if you have them like in the family in the house or something even if you intend to use it yourself as an adult because you never know like what if like some other family member comes and doesn't know what it's really used for. And then they don't tell their kids about it. You know, it's like, well, what if you're an adult and you really, really want to use it? Well, even if you still want to use it, I think one important thing to note is that not all weighted blankets are made equally and you should really get the one that's right for you. And I think one of the recommendations out there is like 10% of your body weight, because like a hundred pound person has different needs for like a weighted blanket than like someone who is like 250 pounds, right? They're larger, bigger body habitus. They need more like pressure, so to speak. So that's the recall. And I mentioned in the evidence that didn't to support the use of these weighted blankets. So let's look at this specifically, just so I'm just not telling you this like out of like my own stories, like anecdotal evidence 
or like what families told me or whatever. Like, even though I have never personally used them outside of like checking them out in like school, like education, my education program, what you really want to look at is the larger body of evidence in the research studies that are looking at this and whether they're really, really effective. And so the two kind of categories is, well, are they effective for like rest and sleep to get better sleep and like sleep longer and such. And for the other like intended group, at least for like occupational therapists, which we recommend is for like children with autism and like stereotypical behaviors. And of course, this topic is going to be very, very controversial. But in terms of the research, many research articles and even like systematic reviews, which like is like a research of the research like that is out there and like collectively, they report limited evidence for the effectiveness of things like weighted vests and blankets for children with autism, at least. And in a 2018 systematic review, they made only a moderate recommendation for weighted products as there are actually likely better alternatives and interventions that you can use instead. So it's kind of like, why waste your time and money when there are better things out there? And it's before you, we probably were thinking about, well, it's probably just gonna like, you're gonna just like waste a little bit of money. If not, it's just, you're not just getting the best out of it. Maybe it's just kind of like a placebo effect. But now we're seeing from the recall, it can actually result in harm and death. So in terms of the category for like naps and sleep, this systematic review that I read reported Weighted vests, they actually show the lowest support for sleep and sleep efficacy for these kinds of products compared to other intended uses, actually. And also, similarly, an article published in 2014 in the American Academy of Pediatrics concluded that the use of weighted blankets did not help children with autism spectrum disorder sleep for longer periods. It didn't help them go to sleep faster or to keep them asleep longer and wake up less often. So that's basically not helping much with sleep at all. Well, what about the other uses besides sleep? A 2017 study reported that there was, quote, ineffectiveness of these deep pressure therapies compared to things like exercise for decreasing stereotypical behaviors for people with autism. And in a 2011 article that was actually published in the American Journal of Occupational Therapy, AJOT, they concluded that weighted vests were not effective in increasing attention for students. So, especially if you're an occupational therapist and you're watching this video, I think you may really want to reconsider your recommendation. And like I made a post on like social media and a lot of OTs have like commented like, yeah, I'm not going to recommend these anymore. And if not, at the very least, check out the research articles that I'm going to post in the description. So what should we use instead, right? Well, for stereotypical behaviors, I think I kind of mentioned this already, but you want to look at other things like exercise or I myself as an OT, right? I highly recommend like meaningful occupations and activities. So what do you, or what does your client or what does your family member, your child value? And like, what do they like? What are their interests and like activities like play or their leisure and finding ways for them to participate in those activities probably will help more than kind of like seeking a quick fix for things and buying things and using things like these weighted vests and blankets. And for terms of sleep, I think a great place to start, uh, especially because I'm a parent myself and I've looked into this is like American Academy of Pediatrics and their recommendations for like safer sleep programs, such as putting your infant on their back to sleep not having like loose items in or around like the crib, even if you co-sleep, like especially not having a lot of loose items and like stuffed animals and things like that. And there are products out there which are probably much safer. You might want to look into like swaddlers or even like sleep sacks for older kids who are like toddlers. And I think the important thing is to size these correctly and not to buy like a enormously like oversized product because at the end of the day, you want to avoid things like suffocation. And if it's too large and your kiddo is too small, they may be like swimming in it and you may have problems from that. So read the products at the very least in like what the recommendations are for like the warnings and their sizing uh, before you actually use these products themselves. You probably want to look at and take a step back and look at the more holistic picture and ask yourself, what are some of the contributing factors that made me kind of limiting you or preventing you or your family member from getting a better night's sleep. So for example, are you taking too many naps? 
longer than like 20, 30 minutes a day? Are you, for example, drinking too much alcohol before bedtime or too many fluids even that may be keeping you up and then making you to go pee or something? Is your like temperature, even something as simple as like your temperature, like right now I'm recording in a room with like all these lights on me and like it's like super hot. You probably can't see it and like feel it, but I'm like wouldn't be able to go to sleep like this. I need to have the room cooler. Are you not dressed appropriately? Is there too much noise, too much light coming in? Or maybe is it a medical condition? and you have something possibly like sleep apnea and you may need something like a CPAP or are you like even like eating too many meals or is this some other medical condition and it may be helping especially if you're an adult with things like these weighted vests definitely look at if it's the right if you want to continue to use it is this the right weight for you and is there some other underlying thing or some other things that you can address kind of together and to kind of add to this combination, I guess you can call it like this cocktail of things to help you get a better night's sleep. So you may want to consider talking to your primary care provider, maybe getting a referral to an occupational therapist or sleep specialist or someone who can help you with this kind of department, help you get better night's sleep. So hope this helps. And if you guys actually have used this product or use something similar, I really like to know, like, what is your experience with it? Like, is it kind of dangerous? If you had some close calls, would you use this yourself? Like having like read and watched this video or heard about this recall? What are your thoughts on it? Does this really work for you? Has it worked in the past or you think it's kind of like gimmicky? What do you think? So let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff, the OT dude, and have a nice day.